To factor this polynomial, let's first simplify it by factoring out the greatest common factor. In that case, it is going to be 2. So if we divide our first term by 2, these 2's will cancel, just leaving us with x squared. And then negative 2 divided by 2 will just leave us with a negative 1. That'll be in parentheses multiplied to the 2 that we factored out. Now that we have simplified this, we can see that in the parentheses we have a difference of squares, which means that we have our first term is a perfect square subtracted from a second term that is a perfect square. And in this case, factoring is quite easy. We set up our binomials to each have um, the square of the first number. So x times x gives us x squared, and then the square of the second number. So we would have 1 times 1 gives us 1 and we would have one addition and one with subtraction. So x plus 1, x minus 1, and don't forget to bring down this 2 that we factored out. Then our last step is going to be simplifying via distributive property. So we need to take this 2 and distribute it into the parentheses. So 2 times x would give us 2x, and 2 times 1 would give us 2. That is still being multiplied to x minus 1. So here are our factored binomials, and that perfectly matches our first option, answer choice A.